I extended this idea a few years ago and coined the term 24-hour knowledge factory. The idea being that is there a way that we can take knowledge-based tasks, essentially decouple them in the same manner, and have a situation where you and I work from 9 to 5 in this country, and at the end of the workday, we transfer the work to somebody in Australia or China who works from 9 to 5 in China, and then the work is transferred to somebody in Poland or Romania who also works from 9 to 5, and when we come in the next day in the morning to work, we feel as if a magic fairy has been working behind the scenes doing the work that we were trying to do. So this methodology, which is very different from what has been practiced in management uh, for a long time, really started sending new waves and signals to people that when we talk of globalization, we are not just talking about setting up a factory abroad. We are not just thinking of selling our products abroad. It really means how can we use the skills and expertise from around the world? How can we leverage them? How can we utilize them? How can we exploit them? That is the new opportunity which is coming in. If you call British Airways and you can try it out yourself, at different times of the day if you call, you get connected to a call center in a different country. And they're essentially trying to use the same kind of notion. They're trying to connect you with somebody in a call center where it's daytime. That's what they're trying to do. There's this whole big area, growing area of semi-structured applications where I find this notion of collaboration across geographic boundaries becoming increasingly relevant. And that's where I think the major new innovations in information technology and computer sciences are going to come up. From.